Have you ever had to paint or stain a bunch of boards and then to let them dry, you had to lay them out across your whole driveway and then it started raining about five minutes after you laid them out? Crap, get the boards. Well, I have. And if you've done that, you need a drying rack system. That's what I'm calling this video is the ultimate rack system. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So at some point in our building career, my brother Jamie and I, what's up? <laughs> we decided we needed our own drying rack system to avoid all this boards getting rained on in our driveway and getting ruined, because uh, that was costing us money, not good. We looked at several options that you could buy or build, but none of them met all of our needs, especially the need of being able to dry a thousand board feet at once. So we decided to build our own ultimate drying rack system. So there were several things that this drying rack system had to have that were important. Number one, it had to be cheap. Number two, it had to be portable. Number three, had to be easy to build. And number four, it had to be easily storable, like not to take up too much room in our shop because we do have limited space, even though it's a pretty big shop. When you put a thousand board feet of something in this shop, the space goes away very quickly. So if you can hang on for just a second, I'm gonna show you how we built and how to use our ultimate drying rack. So let's talk for just a second about why you need a drying rack because there is a reason and that is that you cannot stack, you cannot flat stack freshly painted boards together because they'll stick together and ruin the finish. Hence, you need to stack them you apart. You can flat stack them. <laughs> you can flat stack them. I'm going to do it right now. No. Just paint them and stack them. It's done fast. I am going to be <laughs> going to eat dinner in a minute and I can't be wasting a lot of time here. All right, there we go. No drying rack needed. Now these will dry up in about a week. And uh, they'll be good. Forget so the dry You rack. cannot flat stack boards like this with paint. It will not work, you'll run the boards. So that's why it's important. And that's why if you don't have a drying rack, you need a huge area to lay out all the boards flat, not on top of each other. Not only would your boards just stick together if you flat stacked them while they're wet, realistically, they would probably never dry. And that's because there's not a gap. There's no airflow going between the boards to let the paint dry. So my brother Jamie uh, stole my hat and he knows a lot more about these things than I do. So I'll let him talk. This is a very simple design. You can see we have one long piece and this could be however long you want it to be. You take the same material. This is about two and three quarters. That means we took a two by six and we ripped it in half producing two pieces per two by six. We took cut off pieces and chop them on here with finish nails. Now this block of wood is very small and it will split if you put big nails or big screws, okay? So it's critical that you use a small fastener like a finish nail. All right, so these stackers are very important to me, but this cart that they're sitting on is also very important. It allows me to move them out of the way when I don't need them and store them all in a nice tight little cube here out of my way. So uh, something to note, I bought this cart kit at, uh, what is it, Northern Tool, $80. It comes with a handle and it comes with wheels. And then you add the, um, the bottom part here. So I made this out of some scrap wood. And then I got a little crazy and I made these metal uh, standards, you might call them, or cups. And I just put some pieces of hardwood in the cup uh, to hold them all nice and straight. You can see I've got a piece of wood that I painted a minute ago still wet look at that now this wood is three quarters of an inch thick and you can see that the block is an inch and a half okay that's that's important that leaves the space above okay so let's bring in another layer here and uh, all right there we go you can see I've got a good clearance here of three quarters of an inch now you could make it a little lower or tighter but Boards are not flat. They're usually twisted or cupped or warped or something. And so you want to leave extra room, okay? Now, let's just say you wanted to finish something that was an inch and a half thick. What are you gonna do? Well, you might do what I did. You might make your very own sticker stacker. This is plus size here. This is a three inch space. So you could safely put an inch and a half board such as this beautiful piece of wood right there and then you would stack your next one on top and you still have lots of air gap and it'll dry faster so you can see i've only put one board on each row or each layer for demonstration but typically this is all the way across as tight as i can get them without touching because each board will stick on the edge to each other as well 
And this board is only five feet long, where normally I'm finishing wood that's 16 feet long. So I space these about every four or five feet. Okay, so I would have three to four, and then I keep stacking up and putting my wood in. And I can build it up to about four feet high safely. These, as you can see, all right, these are a little wobbly, but the weight of the material pressing down actually holds them more stable than this demonstration, okay? But when you do get up about four feet high, it's a good idea to take a scrap piece of wood like this, and you put a screw right here, and you go over to your next row of stickers, and you put a screw right there, just making a diagonal brace, and it will be very stable and not fall down. So you may be wondering how much these stickers actually cost. We have 80 of them and we did the math and it was about $100 for 80 of these things. So that's super cheap, I think, for a, uh, for a rack system that'll hold a thousand board feet of material uh, in your shop. Okay, so that's a wrap on our ultimate drying rack system. We've been using these racks for about five years and I would estimate about 30,000 board feet of material have been painted and dried on this drying rack system that we made for $100 and we're still using probably for another 10 years or 20 years, who knows. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel to support our channel so we can keep making awesome videos for you guys.